What's up everyone, it's Mike from MyGadgets Wall and today we're going to be updating the Samsung Odyssey G7 monitor to the latest firmware update that they released on July 6th. So I'm going to go there to the website for the Samsung Odyssey G7. You can just type it in Google and as soon as you get there, you have to make sure that which model you have. There's 27 inches monitor and then there's one for 32 inches. So I have the 32 inch one. If you want to check out the review for the monitor and the unboxing, I will put the link in the description because that's what I did when the monitor released in the market. And go check that out and make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you will be notified whenever there's new video or content out there. So on this website, we're going to go all the way to the bottom where it says the see all support. We're going to, to click on that. Previously, I made a video where Samsung by mistake uploaded a firmware update and that was file size 0.00. .00. But as soon as I made the video, the next day they removed the firmware, which was 0.00, .00 file size. And after two days, now we finally have the firmware update for the um, 27 inch monitor and uh, we have it for the 32 inch monitor. So it uses the same uh, kind of hardware, it's just the screen size is bigger for 32. So the firmware update is going to be the same for 27 inch and 32 inch. All you can do is just download the firmware and then you will have to put it in the uh, USB drive, but you have to extract it. So you're going to go to the file that you downloaded, you're going to have to open it. And as soon as you open, you see this file right here, this is .bin file. You're going to have to extract this file so you can extract this file to a specific folder. I'm going to do it just to the desktop. So as soon as I go there, there's the update file, which has weird like numbers to it. But the this is actually the firmware uh, update number. So 1005.2. Right now, the firmware that I'm using, I can go and check in the system and I'll put the picture up here. The one I'm using right now is actually is 1002.0. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to copy this file to the uh, USB drive. Um, make sure there's nothing else is there. USB drive and you have to put it in the root folder. All right, guys. So I have plugged the USB at the back of the monitor with the update file that I downloaded right here, that .bin file. So now I'm going to go to the monitors menu and uh, go here to the support section all the way at the bottom and then go to software update and it's going to search for the uh, update file in the usb and now it detects it as 1005.2 so this is the latest software update as of july 2020 july 6 2020 and before the one i was using that was 1002.0 so i'm gonna go ahead and click on update yes and uh, it's a small file size, so I'm sure it's not gonna take longer to complete the update. And as soon as it is completed, it's gonna restart the monitor and do the adjustment that's supposed to do for the software update. Actually, this software update is gonna do the 4K resolution support, and I was not aware like how it's gonna work because it's gonna push maximum resolution of 1440p from the computer, uh, from the desktop PC or you know, whatever you're using with, with uh, maybe MacBook or anything. So it's going to be pushing the 1440p resolution to the monitor. But for the PlayStation 4 Pro, which doesn't support 1440p resolution, so it's going to push the 4K signal and then you can, uh, your resolution will be downscaled to 1440p to match with the monitor. So that's why it does the 4K support for the consoles and especially for the PlayStation uh, 4, 4 Pro. So that's about it from this video guys. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified by the videos that I'm going to be making in the future. That's all I have from this video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. Thank you so much for, for your uh, support and love and subscribing to the channel. Always helping me out. About to hit 6,000 subscribers. So let's make this happen. I'll see you guys in another one. Until then, peace out.